Hello all my convenes and welcome to a special impromptu episode of Snackin'. Uh, I had intended to record this on Periscope, but for some reason the app wasn't working for me, so I decided to just record it here at home, and uh, I'll have this uploaded, well, I guess in the morning at this point because it's really late right now. But what I'm going to be trying today is, for the first time, a mince pie. Uh, apparently very small mince pie, <laughs> and um, since it uh, had to survive most of the day. Um, unfortunately, it isn't in the best of shape, but, you know, still intact, mostly. And from what I've been told, this is a very posh kind of mince pie. It is, uh, let's see, Waitrose 6 All Butter Mince Pies. Individual All Butter Mince Pies with a rich mince meat filling containing apricot, glace, cherries, almonds, and brandy. Oh my. But, yeah, I'll be using that as the thumbnail for this. Obviously not the one there because it made the camera look horrible. But, again, I've never tried a mince pie before. Uh, I've got <laughs> some mixed opinions of it <laughs> online after I announced that I was going to, uh, you know, try this for the first time. Some people apparently hate these. Some people really like them. So, yeah. Yeah. Might as well try a mince pie for the first time. And I don't know whether to kind of tackle it from the top or... Oh, well, actually, it is pulling out rather easily. And I'm probably going to make a mess in here, so great. All right, bottoms up. It's not bad. Mm. The brandy is definitely, um, there's definitely an aftertaste of it. A little bit of flavor of the brandy, well, uh, was it peach brandy or just regular brandy? Oh, just regular brandy. The aftertaste of it is definitely in there though. So it was definitely uh, mostly, if not almost entirely cooked out. Um, the other flavors, it's like the almonds, the apricots, it's overall pretty good, honestly. I mean, it's not something that I would eat all the time. It's de it's rather rich, the inside is. But I'm not really getting um, it to be really bitter, like some people said it would be. Of course, then again, you know, these are the apparently posh <laughs> mince pies, so... Uh, yeah, I guess maybe that's a step up from the regular ones, in a way. I'll have to try an actual, like, just regular mince pie one day. But based on just that first taste, it's honestly rather good. Uh, the crust is nice and flaky, uh, other than what was, you know, kind of torn apart <laughs> in transport. Uh, very buttery and sweet, and the, the insides are very rich. I would say that... While this is not something I would want to have all the time, I, I, would, I wouldn't turn it away if someone offered it to me as a snack. So yeah, um, that brand of mince pies, uh, I give it a thumbs up. I don't know that I could, would really give it a number scale just because, well, one, it's late, and two, I'm not entirely sure of what I'm saying right now. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. But anyway... Yeah, I, I rather like this. I would give these another try sometime. So if you have ever tried this brand of, uh, I'll put the text up there, this brand of mince pies, I would like to know what you think and what your opinion of mince pies are in general. I've, again, I've heard mixed reactions. Some people really like them. Others, not so much. They very much vehemently dislike them. So, looking forward to what you have to say. Uh, as always, please leave your comments down below. Let me know if there's anything else you would like me to try in the coming days, months, what have you. And until next time, everyone, I am Papa Ken, and I will see you on the next episode of Snackin'. Yeah, it's quite good. <laughs>